Okie dokies. Now we're on to the third word in our second group of 10, or the 13th of 60. So we're just plowing right along, but this word is my favorite word in the entire Book of Mormon used only once. The word is appellation. Four syllables. The biggest question I had for my people taking the test was, hmm, is that like the Appalachian Mountains? No, it's not spelled that way, and it's not defined that way. One definition only. Now, just a couple of outside observations. Appalachian is not used in the Old Testament. Appalachian is not used in the New Testament, nor in the Pro or Great Price or Doctrine and Covenants. So if Joseph is writing this as the critics and the antis acclaim, he had to know the word from somewhere. Where would he get it? Where would he be talking to a group of people or even reading and say, oh, Appalachian? Because you can see a word somewhere. It could have been in the Bible. But you got to know the definition, precise definition, to use it correctly. It's not there. Again, this is a nice one to say, Joseph couldn't have known these words, this word. It just isn't going to happen with the education and the background he had. Okay, how would you spell it? Let me get my old word out here. Appalachian, A-P-P-E-L-L-A-T-I-O-N. Now, 33% of the people spelled that right. That's impressive. That's a hard word to spell. It's not a normal word we see. But only 7% of the people got the definition right. That's two people out of the 10. That's not many. It was a stumper of these folks. So where is it used? What is the definition? So we find our context uh, in Alma 51. And there's a story behind this because it's a very interesting one to me. So you have... Uh, the Nephites going along in their, as their normal course of affairs. They have a representative government with a uh, person who's over them, who's a chief judge. It's working pretty well. But they have a group of people that are tired of that. They want to change. They want a king. Now, it says in the Book of Mormon, they are lower judges and people who want power. They want power over people. And they know they have a king and they get to end with him. They'll have more control and power over the people uh, than they have today. That's what they want. Interesting. Sad. Uh, and so to start with, we need to know how they're named because that's going to bear to Appalachian just down the road, just a little bit in Alma 51. So let me read those uh, to you. One group is Kingman. One group is Freeman. Kingman obviously want a king. Freeman don't. So uh, this is all in Alma 51. Uh, and we will go with uh, verse 5. It came to pass that those who were desirous of Pahoran, who is the chief judge, should be dethroned from the judgment seat, were called kingmen. So that's not tough. They were called kingmen. It's normal. It's normal English. That's how we talk. Okay, no big deal. Then they had the group that doesn't want that to happen. Uh, and those who were desirous that Pahoran remain chief judge over the land took upon them the name of Freeman. Again, there's no surprises in how any of the English used there. That's just normal. No problem. Well, where does Appalachian come from? Now the story. So these people are arguing. They're, they're not battling physically, but they're debating. They're saying, no, we want this. We want this. A lot of the contention is going on. But at that time, the Lamanites are coming to fight them. Captain Moroni is out there. Uh, he is a humdinger of a guy. Uh, he needs men to fight these Lamanites. He comes into uh, Zarahemla and says, stop. Stop what you're doing. You're arguing. I don't want that. I need all of you to come with me to fight the Lamanites. Let's go. The freemen said, yep, that's what we believe and we will. We're in with you. We will defend our homeland. The kingman, it says, is very subtle. Uh, hmm, maybe we should wait and see what happens because maybe these guys will get killed anyway and we'll control then. Great. But Moroni is not that kind of man. He says, listen, every one of you kingmen is going to come with me. Or, I'm going to take care of you. That means I'm going to kill you. I have no time for this. I have a major battle on my hands, and I'm not going to let the Lamanites take over us. So, decide. You, you got it. Oh, boy, is he really serious? Did he really do that? And so many of the Cayman said, well, okay, we'll go fight. And they left. And the other uh, Cayman? <laughs> when I killed them, they were dead. 
kingmen were gone. There's no more kingmen. So now we're going to read Appalachian. How does Appalachian fit into all of that? Here it comes. So, thus Moroni, this is verse 21, thus Moroni put an end to those kingmen. They either went and fought and became no, not kingmen, or they were wiped out. Uh, that they were not known by the appellation of kingmen anymore. Hmm. What does that mean? So, in the prior to this chapter, they called them kingmen. They were known as uh, freemen. Now they were no longer known by the appellation of kingmen. So the definition uh, is pretty straightforward. The name, the word by which a thing is called or known. And that's precise. Joseph had to know that word, know how to spell that word, know the one definition for that word and use it only once. And he did not find it in the Bible. It's not there. He never used it again in the Book of Mormon, or Pearl of Great Price, pardon me, Pearl of Great Price, or the Doctrine and Covenants. Never. That speaks volumes to my heart, which is, Joseph's not the author of this book. He didn't come up with that word. That's that's so far out of the, the limelight, I can't really believe it. And we have 60 of them. We are now in the 13th of those 60. You're seeing, seeing a trend, if you're following me. You go, hmm, I, I think you might be right. I, I don't think Joseph could have done that. And by a 60, you're going to go, it would be impossible for Joseph to know these words and use them so right. My contention, it would have been impossible for any man in that day or ours to write this book using these words the way they're used. Okay, we're done with the appellation. Sadly, it's my favorite, but another great one's coming right behind it. See you in just a moment.